In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss integration by substitution or use substitution. I'm going to find the integral of 2x times the square root of x squared plus 1. Here's the final answer. It looks worse than it is, sort of like a head wound, but I'm going to walk you through this step by step. If you look at x squared plus 1 and 2x, you'll find that the derivative of x squared plus 1 is actually 2x the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. Now, I'm going to let x squared plus 1 equal u. u is equal to x squared plus 1. Now I take the derivative of x squared plus 1, which is du, is equal to the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, plus the derivative of 1, which is 0. So now I have du is equal to 2x dx. I'm going to solve for dx. I multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over 2x. On the right-hand side, these 2x's cancel out. I'm going to take this answer, which is du over 2x, and in a moment, I'm going to sub it right up there, right there. Let me copy this over to the right. This x squared plus 1 is the same in both places, so I put u there. Where there's a dx, I'm going to put du divided by 2x, so I slide that up right there. Notice these 2x's cancel out. This is looking up. I have the integral of the square root of u, the square root of u, du. Now this looks like something I could integrate. The square root of u is the same thing as u raised to the one-half power. I have the integral of u raised to the one-half power du. Again, I got this in a form that I can actually take the integral of this. I'm going to take the antiderivative of it, actually. So I take the antiderivative of u to the one-half power, add 1 to the exponent. This gives me u to the three-half power. Now, whatever the exponent is, I also divide by that. Dividing anything by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying it times 2 thirds. Now I have 2 thirds times u to the 3 halves power. Let me bring my u back in. x squared plus 1 is equal to u. Put that right where the u is. And so this is my final answer plus c, which is my constant, some number. And here is my final answer. You should always check to make sure you have the correct answer by taking the derivative, which I'm going to do that right now. Now I'm going to take a derivative of this. The first thing I do is lob off that c because the derivative of a constant is nothing. It's 0. Now I use the chain rule. So I take 3 halves times 2 thirds, which is 1. I subtract 1 from the exponent which gives me 3 halves minus 1, which is 1 half. I take the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. I take 2x times 1, which is 2x. Anything raised to the 1 half power is a square root. So I have the answer. That's what I'm looking for, right there. Now, here's the final answer again for you, and it looks, I don't know if it's ugly or beautiful to you, it's one or the other. So share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, Plus. nobody uses Google+, Plus, but anyway, Twitter, links to stuff below, subscribe, like all my videos, helps other people find the videos, and always 